أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد كما صليت على سيدنا إبراهيم وعلى آل سيدنا إبراهيم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد كما باركت على سيدنا إبراهيم وعلى آل سيدنا إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد المجيد by the barak of Sidi Shaykh Sidi Muhammad Fawzi Al-Kankari Qaddas Allah Sarra Notes from lecture of May 28, 2024 Before starting this video, I would like to state that this work would never have seen the light without Sidi Shaykh If something is wrong, it will be from myself And everything that is correct is from Sidi Shaykh In his side plus Sidi Shaykh about a statement by Ibn al-Arabi Wherein he asserts that each creature possesses a multitude of copies counts twelve thousands. Sidi Sheikh first explained that in the conventions adept of dealing with saints, awliya, and Ahlullah, it's not appropriate to alter or add to their sayings. Ibn al Arabi is a wali and he can be likened to Al Khidr when Musa wanted to follow Al Khidr and learn from him, Al Khidr said to him, If you follow me, do not question me about anything until I clarify it for you. Sidi Sheikh added that the purpose of a question shouldn't be to doubt one side's words over another's. He also cautioned against employing this method with sides, scholars, or even mosque imams seeking their judgment on others within the same category. Instead, if one wishes to discuss a subject or ask a question, it's preferable not to confine it to a specific person but to keep the matter open for discussion. Sidi Shaykh also mentioned that some hadith of the Prophet وسلم, have multiple versions, all of which are authentic. For example, there is the hadith where the Prophet وسلم, said, Faith has over 60 branches, while in another authentic version, he said, Faith has over 70 branches. It's not that one version is incorrect, it just varies depending on the person. Sidi Sheikh explained a hadith narrated by Abdullah ibn Abbas stating that there are 1,000 Adam like our Prophet Adam السلام, and he said that there are 1,000 Ibn Abbas like Ibn Abbas. He clarified that it doesn't mean someone is replaced with one of those thousand copies only after he passes away. Rather, at this very moment, there exist 1,000 replicas of him. Sidi Shaykh emphasized that both the hadith of Ibn Abbas and the statement of Ibn Arabi should not be denied, as the number should not be limited. He further explained that in the foundation of the tariqah, he relied on the seven souls that Allah mentioned, which are the commanding soul, and nafsul ammara, the blaming soul, and nafsul lawama, the inspired soul, and nafsul mulhama, the tranquil soul, and nafsul mutma'inna, the pleasing soul, and nafsul mardiyya, the pleased soul, and nafsul radiya, and the complete soul, and nafsul kamila. These seven souls are seven copies of the same person. They are called the primary souls, al ummahat The detailed souls stemming from these seven primary souls amount to 40 souls. From these 40 souls derive 1,000 souls. See the shaykh likened the seven primary to the mothers, al ummahat The 40 souls to the children, al abna and the thousand souls to the grandchildren, al-Ahfad. If one wants to eliminate all confusion and not focus on a specific number, one can consider their number as infinite. Sidi Shaykh mentioned that on this earth, his name is Muhammad Fawzi, and that's how people know him. From this soul, there are other copies. Whether one is aware of them or not, Allah has created them, and they are all human, not angels, devils, plants, or animals, as some might assume. Sidi Sheikh added that now the problem is that one wants to know the location of his second soul, for example. To achieve this, one must engage in the practice of remembrance, dhikr, and elevate his spiritual state. When someone is seated, engaged in the practice of dhikr, and suddenly finds himself walking in another world, he remains physically present on earth. His body hasn't moved from its place. What actually happened? is that he has established a connection with his own personality in the second world. The second person will show him where does it live. So if one sees his personality in the second world living in a beauty, Jamal, one will know that he has elevated. For example, 
from the aspired to the tranquil soul. On the other hand, when one sees himself with animals running behind him, etc., he should know that he has descended to the other soul. Thus, one is considered as an ismuth, barzakh, between the upper and lower souls. Sidi Shaykh referred to verses 19 and 20 from Surat al Rahman. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. He merges the two bodies of water, yet between them is a barrier they never cross. So one is like an isbeth between the two seas, the sea of the lower souls and the sea of the upper souls, and one should extract from them pierce and corals, which means he should extract what benefits, not what harms. He should extract knowledge and not descend to the lower world with the hypocrite and disbeliever soul. Sidi Shaykh added that if one does not accept this, you should refer to the Qur'an. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, He is the one who created you from a single soul. And in other verses, Allah refers to the soul with different adjectives, the commanded soul, the pleased soul, etc. This proves the multiplicity of copies of the same single soul. In his explanation, Ibn Abbas shortened the path, stating that there are 1,000 Ibn Abbas. This means that Ibn Abbas has reached 1,000 copies. If Ibn Arabi said there are 12,000 copies, it means that the matter stays open. Maybe Ibn Arabi has reached the 12,000 copies. One should not say that one is truthful and the other is a liar. The main idea is that there are seven souls from which derive 40 souls and from these 40 souls derive 1,000 souls. The image is different, knowledge is different and faith is different. Yet, it's one soul with multiple versions. So that was all for this video. Alhamdulillah, الذي هدانا لهذا وما كنا لنهتدي لولا إن هدانا الله. لقد جاءت رسول ربنا بالحق. اللهم لك الحمد. اللهم لك الحمد. اللهم لك الحمد. اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد كما صليت على سيدنا إبراهيم وعلى آل سيدنا إبراهيم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد كما باركت على سيدنا إبراهيم وعلى آل سيدنا إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد. سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين